at the end of season two, we have this company, Red Rock, um, comes in to take over Chastain, and they really kind of represent, in, in our world, a conglomerate taking over a hospital for the want of money. All administrative decisions about the running of the hospital would shift to Red Rock Mountain Medical. Your signature, please. We are feeling the pressure to make money, which is not something I believe a doctor should have to worry about. I need an advocate? Yes. Because I don't bill enough? It, it doesn't matter what the reason is. The wonderful Morris Chestnut is joining us this season, playing a brilliant neurosurgeon. Kane is a product of Red Rock, and he is their moneymaker. With that often comes, a, you know, a bit of ego, and or maybe in this case, a lot of ego. This guy's limit for men like us. Hey, there's a fine line uh, between a lot of the stuff that he does morally, ethically, that uh, he straddles, and I, I love that, actually. Red Rock Mountain taking over Chastain has put everyone on edge. Sorry, but I don't belong here. Conrad is willing to cross lines he's never been willing to cross before. Corporatized medicine, profit over patients is a different kind of battlefield. One where we need to keep showing up, keep fighting, no matter what the odds are against us. We get a chance to get a little more deeply involved in their personal lives. When you go through something traumatic, like losing a family member, it reminds you of what really matters. We just feel more connected to the characters in general. It's been an interesting beginning to the season. I need some help in here! The Resident Season 3, Episode 1 Review. This is a great show for a change of pace for those of you that have been watching your crime dramas, your drug dramas. It's a lighthearted, witty, but very, very deceptive show in terms of how they display what goes on in the medical field, business side, the corruption and all that. And we're gonna discuss Episode 1 of Season 3. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Please be sure to go to my YouTube homepage, navigate all the videos I cover. We do a lot on this channel. And coming soon, I'll be talking about the Tesla I just got to help people save some money and help people save on their gas. So if you've never seen The Resident, I'm gonna give you a quick synopsis of the first two seasons. The first season was about a doctor who worked at this hospital. And the hospital that this place takes place in is called Chastain. It's an imaginary hospital, fictitious hospital in Atlanta. And she was a cancer doctor and she had a little relationship with the CEO of the hospital. Now, what was her catch? Instead of giving people cancer medicine and billing, she was giving their ass sugar water and billing. And she had a hot flame going on with the CEO. Now, one thing women that y'all don't know about crazy women, Crazy women is also crazy in bed. And when the stuff hit the fan, the doctor had to decide whether he was gonna risk his career over this crazy woman, and I'm not gonna tell you what happened. Second season, they get into some more drama with a medical company called Cuvatus. What were they doing? Making parts to put in human beings that wasn't working. I mean, they was making things like safety pins to try to correct nerve issues. It was just a bunch of mess. You have to go back and watch it. Also, who stars in this is Malcolm Jamal Warner. Y'all will love his character. He's a cocky but caring heart surgeon, one of the best in the United States. And this season, season three, picks up where Emily Van Camp's character named Nick Nevin, sister died, and they just had a big dilemma with her family. You guys can go back and watch that. Her current boyfriend, is Conrad Hawkins, who is the main character of the show. The show revolves around what his character is doing. But the CEO of the hospital, who has a big confliction, is Randolph Bell. They have Mina Okafor. She is from Africa, and she's got that stone cold demeanor. She'll tell you what's on her mind. Nothing seems to phase her, which can be a problem in a country where you need to be politically correct. So what was the main purpose of episode one? They're introducing a new cocky neurosurgeon, brain surgeon, being played by Morris Chestnut. The character's name is Barrett Kane. And also, the hospital Chastain has been taken over by a new hospital group called Red Rock, who's all about the bottom line and making money. They want Randolph Bell, the CEO, to hire Morris Chestnut's character, Barrett Kane, because he bills $80 million a year for his work on brain surgery, yada, yada, yada. 
And so we're going through, they do have one little kid who had an issue. You guys can go back and watch it if you haven't seen it, where they're able to save this kid and they use Morris Chestnut to save the other person that got into the accident with this kid. But what we learned about Morris Chestnut's character is that he seems to be very cocky. He's probably doing a little bit of medical billing he shouldn't do and he loves women. And the issue or the dynamic that this is setting up for the season is Randolph Bell, the CEO, just got finished resurrecting his persona because he was dibble dabbling in that kind of stuff, lying, covering things up, but he's gotten better. Cut his, the hospital started redlining a little bit, so they brought in this Red Rock company who's all about the bottom line, and they want this man to make as much money as possible, and they want him to hire Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane already seems like he's gonna be clashing with A.J. Austin, who's played by Malcolm Jamal Warner, because A.J. Austin, he's cocky, but he's cocky by the books. Morris Chestnut's character, Dr. Barrett Kane, he's cocky, and he just seems like he's gonna go off the books. Dr. Austin is used to being the best surgeon in the hospital, now he's got to deal with this guy. So you can already see they setting up a dynamic between the brothers to have it out. But we'll just have to see how, Morris Ch how deep Morris Chestnut goes into being crooked and how much he can turn Dr. Bell. So let me know if you watched The Resident and did you enjoy the first episode. It was good. I thought it was just setting up the narrative for all the drama that is going to come in season three of The Resident. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. If you made it this far in my video, you're obviously a big supporter of the channel. Please consider donating to Patreon. It helps creators like me continue to bring content. And also check out my Life Gain store if you want Zeke Who t-shirts or Power Season 6 t-shirts. Until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.